If you ever wanted to modify a pattern or wanted to knit something based on your own measurements but were intimidated by the calculations and the maths, I'm Tabia and today I'm going to show you the only calculation that you'll ever need if you want to change the numbers behind your knitting. The calculation that I'm talking about is the rule of proportion. You would use this when you, for example, know that you have made a swatch and you are having 18 stitches and 28 rows are equal to a square of 10 centimeter times 10 centimeter. An example for when you can use the rule of proportion is when you would want to knit, for example, a piece that is 30 centimeters broad and you wanted to know how many stitches do you want to cast on. You start with something that you already know, so you know that when you have 10 centimeters, that's equal to 18 stitches, because that is what you measured in your swatch. So an important thing to know about the calculations in the rule of proportion is that when you do one calculation to one side on the equation, you have to do the same calculation to the other side. So the next step is that you always calculate down to one on one on the sides as that's an easy calculation. Everything, every number divided by its own is one. So we can go here for one centimeters and that would be 10 centimeters divided by 10 is equal to 18 centimeters, 18 stitches divided by 10. And here you see what I did. If I am to divide by 10 on the one side, then I have to divide by 10 on the other side as well. And then the equation would still be correct because you still would have the same value on both sides. And 10 divided, 10 divided by 10 is 1, and 18 divided by 10 is 1.8. So now we know that 1 centimeter equals 1.8 stitches. Now I said that I wanted to know how many stitches I would have for 30 centimeters. So now I can multiply everything by 30, 30 times 1 is 30 and 1.8 stitches times 30. And now I know that 30 centimeters is equal to times 30, 55 stitches. You could also use this the other way around, so we are still assuming we are having the same gauge and now we can use the rows. So for example, if it says in your patterns that you should knit, let's say, 60 rows and you are not having the same gauges in your pattern and you want to know, okay, with your gauge, when you knit 60 rows, how many centimeters are that going to be? Uh, so we start with what we know. We have 28 rows on 10 centimeters. 28 rows is equal to 10 centimeters. And now we are dividing down to one again because then it's easy to multiply by the number that we want. So we are 28 rows divided by 28 and 10 divided by 28 and this is 1 is equal to 10. And now this probably I can just make the calculation here. 10 divided by 28 is 0 0.3571 blah 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 and so on. So I can just wait a little bit with calculating this and leaving the equation like it is. And then I said I want to know how many centimeters are 60 rows. So I can multiply the whole thing by 60. And then I know that 60 rows is equal to 10 
times 60 divided by 28, which is 600 divided by 28, which is 21.43. If you know how to calculate how big a piece will be when you cast on X amount of stitches and the other way around how many stitches you have to cast on if you want to knit a piece of X centimeters that is really so helpful and will help you through most of the calculations that you'll have to do when you want to modify a pattern or want to knit something of your own. I have a few videos coming up in the next couple of weeks on how you can use these calculations so stay tuned for that and if you have something special in mind that maybe you want to know or are curious about that i could do a video about you can leave me a comment down below you can also leave me a like be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss any of those upcoming videos and thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon thank you bye bye